Welcome to another session of Coffee Coaching. I'm Andrea Siddig Rolf, Chief Blitzmaster and CEO of Siddig Incorporated. Contrary to popular belief, the secret to successful sales isn't necessarily the close. While asking for the business is an important step, sales is a process that requires careful strategic planning as well as a succinct tactical approach. The strategy is the overall plan in developing your business and gaining new customers, while the tactics are the specific steps you take within the overall strategy to walk your prospects through the sales process to the close. The close should be a natural next step in the sales process, not a question you ask the prospect out of the blue, such as, are you ready to place your order? Here are a couple of different ideas to consider when walking your customers through the sales process so that closing the business is seamless and the natural next step. A philosophy I live by in my business is, the purpose of a meeting is to get another meeting. In other words, the purpose of a meeting is not necessarily to close the business unless you're in a business where one call closes are common. If your business is like most, it will require more than one meeting as well as other forms of communication such as phone conversations, email exchanges, and other written correspondence before you actually close the sale. By ending the first meeting with agreeing to the next step with your prospect, you're ensuring that the prospect is willing to move through the sales process with you. Another key factor at the end of that first meeting after agreeing to the next follow-up step is to ask your prospects for a commitment that they will, in fact, respond to you when you follow up. How many times have prospects asked you to follow up and when you do, they don't respond? Maddening, isn't it? I don't know about you, but if the answer to doing business together is no, I'd rather know that sooner than later so I don't waste my time following up with someone who isn't really a prospect anyway. One way to ensure that your prospects will respond to you when you follow up is to give them an out if they decide not to do business with you. To do this, after you've agreed to the next follow-up step, say something like, can I ask you a favor? When I follow up with you in two weeks, if for some reason you've decided not to proceed, will you just let me know? There's a saying in sales that a fast no is better than a slow no, and if you've decided to go another way, that's okay. Just let me know so I won't waste your time or mine. Sounds a little bold, I know, but most prospects will respond positively to this because one, it gives them the out they need if they decide to go with another solution, and two, it shows your prospect that you're a busy professional and you don't want to waste anyone's time. This technique also works well because suddenly you're not a desperate salesperson, but rather a confident consultant who has something of value to offer. I found it necessary to practice this technique over the years when coming across prospects who are just too nice to say no. As much as we hate to hear no, I know you'll agree that if the answer is going to be no, you'd rather know early on in the process so you don't waste time working with a prospect who is never going to become a customer anyway. The funny thing is, more often than not, when using this technique, based on my own personal experience, you will not hear no and will actually end up closing the sale. Thanks for watching. Join us for another session of Coffee Coaching.